Okay, so you got another article for us, yes, so I do. let's let's get to it. Okay, also from Entrepreneur Magazine, it's the war against jargon. And uh, I, boy, uh, over you know thirty some years working with entrepreneurs, one of the things that that I'm constantly trying to get them to understand is the reason that they uh, that maybe their um, new employees don't get it, especially fresh out of college, and also uh, their customers aren't getting it. Is uh, unlike Larry, who gets it right? Yep. Uh, is uh, is that. They're using acronyms. They're using words that people, you know, like deer with headlights, right? And and this is becoming even bigger. This article really focused on the fact that you know we're in the world of pitching our business to investors now. You know, that's be that's a hot thing. You know, with Shark Tank and everything else, and uh, uh, and universities are realizing that. Um, they need to train business students and future entrepreneurs on how to to talk more simplistically and not, you know, use all this jargon or use all these words that make them sound really impressive. And they're just making everybody like, what? <laughs> What's, yeah. What are you talking about? And uh, so, you know, I, I was actually when a meeting with an international attorney. And sometimes the jargon can just be, you know, cliches that we use, for instance, and um, and and phrases that we use. And and she um, specializes with German companies bringing him over into the United States. And they were uh, talking about one of the the cases that she's working on. And and uh, she said to him, he asked, he asked, how's it going? And she says, oh, it's going to be a home run. And he goes, what? And, 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 you know, of course, we all know, we had no idea what that meant. He had no idea what that meant. And she said, so sports jargon that we use in the name of business um, with some international, you know, like baseball's an American sport, right? Um, but even stuff like slam dunk, she's used that, too. And that also brought the deer with the headlights on. You, you know, um, uh, one of the things I have learned to do with my clients is just simply stop them. I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't know what that means. I do that, that too. Means. Yeah, yeah. And, and so many people are afraid to do that. Um, but honestly, it really does build credibility for you to say, I'm sorry. I don't know what that means. I don't understand that. And what it really does in my case, it allows them to, to acknowledge, I'm trying to understand, right? right. You know what right. I mean? And right. I'm listening. Right. And I didn't get what you just said, right? Right. right. And I'll give you a story that was, that was just kind of funny to me. I had a good friend of mine that spent, I don't know, $150,000, $200,000 for his son to, to go to college, to, to Elon college, you know, this great private college, you know, learn business, da da da. And so I thought I'd help him. And so I, I let him come into the office as an intern. And <laughs> and you know, I mean this is a this is a guy that's a sharp guy, got his college degree in business administration, blah blah blah. And I said, hey you know, listen, um would you do me a favor and and uh, pull up that PL for me and and uh, and send that over to my client. And he said, um excuse me? I said, pull a P&L up and, and go ahead and, right. and send it to the client. Right. And, right. and he, like, fumbled around for, like, about 20 minutes. What's a p and I said, hey, man, come on. <laughs> and he said, uh, and his face was, like, really red. He said, I I'm sorry, I, I don't know what a P&L is. Wow, yeah, yeah. And I said, you don't know what a profit and loss statement is? And he said, oh, in business school, we call that an income statement. <laughs> I said, in small business, we call it profit and loss because he didn't know. That's what it is. <laughs> could be profit, could be loss. That's exactly right. And so it really is something that. And fact. he could have saved 20 minutes if he had just said, just I ask. don't know what a PL is. Well, you know, I've got a really, you know, we're on the, we're on the P acronyms here, so i got to share this one. Um, I was uh, working with a client, and um, the Pantone color matching system that's used in the graphic industry, its acronym is PMS. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm working with a male client, and I said, "Well, we have to, we have to, we have to look into what the the PMS colors." And he got very uncomfortable with that <laughs> because he was thinking, of course, you know, the other PMS, right? And, uh, and 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 it was just it was hilarious. I mean, he was like, he was like, "PMS? Are you sure that's what it's called?" He goes, "What do you mean by that?" And I go, "Pantone matching system for the colors." And he was like, "Oh, oh okay, okay, okay." And he was much more comfortable after that. But again, perfect example of. You know, the acronyms are just as bad as word jargon stuff. Well, <laughs> in my world, acronyms don't work. 
I, I, I mean, if you if you want to say return on investment, say return on investment. Exactly. They want to hear that, right? Right, right. <laughs> that, it, it, it emphasizes a, a lot better, doesn't that's it? That's absolutely correct. There's a reason why you really want to be completely detailed. And in my case, because I'm dealing with buyers and sellers, they don't know each other. So you don't want to make an assumption on those things. So it happens a lot because, you know, I deal with so many different industries that I am very comfortable saying I don't know what that means. Right, you right. Know, I'm okay with that. But it's taken me some time to get there because at first I used to think they're going to think I'm a dumb dumb. Mm-hmm. You know, well, <laughs> and I, I don't need to give another excuse. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, the, honestly, the greatest sign of a uh, – you know, going back to that authenticity we were talking about is being showing a little vulnerability, showing that, you know, you really don't know everything. Honestly, that builds such trust. Yes. Because you can you can be an expert, but you're not an expert in everything. Right. And and, and especially with what both you and I do, we're dealing with so many different industries, which is, makes it so much fun and love it, right? But we can't possibly know everything. Right. But what we do know is how to look at it in a different way than they do and help them see things that they're not seeing and and I think that's you know that's the beauty of it well and, and, and it's what makes us so good at what we do is we're comfortable knowing we don't know everything about every single industry right, right, right I right. can't run your industry right you know right. I can't run your business and so if you'll give me a little help on what the heck you're talking about you know, yeah, I might exactly. be able to apply what I do for you 